One of the keys to, to understanding how deer communicate too is through simple body language. And uh, there's several different cues that deer can give you to let them know what their next move is. A simple twitch of the tail usually indicates that they're about to take a step, which could give you an opportunity to draw your bow. Um, they could throw their hair up on the back of their neck, indicating there's either another buck in the area or they've become aggressive towards you as the caller. Um, or simply they could, they could uh, just nonchalantly move through an area and without any response to calls whatsoever. And in that case, usually you see that during the rut and there's not a whole lot you can do um, to sway that deer's activity, especially if, he's on, if, if he happens to be following a doe. But within communication themselves from deer to deer, you can watch, uh, we have several examples of that actually in food plots. If you see a three-year-old or a two-year-old walk into a food plot and he's bristling up right away, you can feel fairly confident there's not a real mature buck over four or five uh, in the area. That being said, there are certainly some deer that are very aggressive at four and five years old, and there are some deer that are very reclusive at four and five years old. So determining what type of deer that is uh, really can only be gained through either past experience with that deer or, or the limited amount of experience you have when you see that deer walking in the field with other deer. Uh, a lot of times we see very mature bucks come into a field and they'll gravitate towards the end of the field where there are no other deer. That type of deer is a very reclusive deer and in my mind one of the toughest deer to kill uh, possible. He's very hard to communicate with, he doesn't like being around other deer and at some point in his life he's realized that when he gets around other deer he either gets in danger or maybe he gets beat up quite a bit, maybe he's just a, a very timid deer. Um, but some of those deer sport world record racks and, and understanding that psychology of a deer or the mentality of a deer when it walks into a food plot um, is very very important and uh, it's one thing that you can only learn through experience. So pay attention when you're in the field and watch those deer's activities amongst one another and watch their reaction, the hair on their back, the way their ears lay, um, and the way they walk. All that are signs of, of what type of or what position they have in the dominance chain. With the extinguisher game call, we change the way that the industry looks at grunt calls. I don't think there's anything else anywhere near the performance level that this call can produce. When you can follow a mature whitetail like that, your, your possibilities are really endless when you head to the woods. I use the extinguisher and the black racks. They're fantastic and I would not go in the woods without them in my arsenal. The extinguisher deer call and black rack rattling system are the highest rated deer communication systems of all time. Get yours today at illusionsystems.com. Order now.